for this week's Artsy Fartsy Challenge, um, and if you're not familiar with Artsy Fartsy, it is with Maria McGuire and myself. We pick three things to use in a project of some kind and make it and then share it on our blogs. We started doing this because we like to art together but live too far apart to do it very often in person, so we decided to do it through our blogs. So anyway, for this one, I had to use um, one of the Catalyst tools, and it could be any Catalyst tool for this one, and the jelly plate, and I didn't have the video camera running when I actually did this, so I'm going to show you the technique that I used for the Catalyst tools in my finished Artsy Fartsy piece, but this art was actually not used in the Artsy Fartsy, if that makes sense. So these tools are basically a soft, rubbery type tool, so it won't scratch or hurt your jelly plate. They come on these big wooden sticks, hand, handles, that's what it's called. I don't use it that way. I guess if you're painting, you might use it that way. I just pull them off, and then I use them in that size. My tools get dirty, shockingly, and I don't really clean them off very well. The nice part is, is the paint just comes right off of it. Paint does not stick to it. So you don't have to worry about cleaning stuff off very well. This one is my favorite one right now. It reminds me of like a little postage stamp scallop on it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make some very bold circle designs with this. And all I'm doing is twisting it around. What I'm doing is removing paint from the jelly plate in certain places. I'm really in love with this circle thing right now. These end up becoming very wonky because I don't make them perfectly like a machine, and it gives me a very fun, playful look to it, or at least that's how I feel about it. I can make the circles bigger or smaller, depending on what I'm doing, so I'll make that one a really big one. Since I was talking, instead of getting busy with this, some of the paint is starting to dry on there, so be it. The paint, uh, the paper that you can see here where I clean off my brayer, that's where I got this from. From the So I'm going to use that and put the bright red on top of it. And... and that's what I ended up with that one. So a nice bold pattern on that one. It still looks like there's lots and lots of paint on here. I don't think there really is because I let it dry so much, or I should say it's dry and it's not going to come up, but I'll try it with this piece. This is an old piece of scrapbook paper. I'm going to use the white side. There was a lot more ready to come up than I thought. So this is what the pattern by itself looks like, and this is what it looks like when I put it on a colored background.